Good day, this is Phil Swindle with Decknumi.com, and I'm going to teach you today how to record Skype calls for podcasting purposes using a piece of software called Audio Hijack Pro. Now, you'll need to go to the Rogue Amiga software website and download this software, purchase the license for it, install it, and then restart your computer. And once you restart your computer, you're going to want to open that software Audio Hijack Pro. And I've got it already up here in my recent items, so I'm going to pull it up. And once you get the software open, you're going to need to do some setting changes in the preferences. So the first thing we want to do is open the preferences and make only one change here, and that is to set your audio editor. I use Audacity, even though I have... Uh, some other software that's the one i like to use more often but you can go and set whatever you want and uh, like i said i use audacity and so that's the software i'm going to use there once you've installed audacity as the audio editor or whatever your software is uh, whether it's audition or GarageBand or whatever once it's there in the audio editor session you want to clear out the preference window and then you want to go and click on Skype right here. And with Skype, we're going to make a few changes here that will be very important in the process. The first thing we want to do is we want to select our input. And basically what this is, is this is a pre-configured uh, application. And so we're going to select the audio that we want to use, and that is Skype. And that's I've already selected it. And so we're going to use source type application and select Skype. So it's selected now. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to click on this advanced button. And when we click on the advanced button, we want to make sure these two boxes are selected. Include audio inputs. So we want to record the microphone that we're using and we want to record the Skype audio coming in. And then we want to split between channels and listen to what it says. Audio inputs will be placed on the left channel while the application's audio output will be placed on the right channel. So we're separating this into two separate monophonic audio signals. And we'll be able to use that in a later moment and be able to benefit from that. Then we also want to make sure that this is not clicked. Do not click fill playback gaps with silence. We want to leave that alone. We also want to limit audio capture to default. Leave that there. So everything is the same with the exception of these two boxes. We want to make sure that they are clicked and then click OK. And what that has done is that's allowed us to separate my microphone from the audio from the phone. Then we have one more tab to click on. We want to go to the recording tab. And I am I typically will use this for internet distribution. Uh, you can use it if you're going to just use it for the editor. Uh, you could also use the AIFF. You could use... Uh, for recording spoken word. I typically use this. It's a high quality mp3 file. I can do some custom settings as well, but that's just the one I use typically is for internet distribution high because that's where this is going eventually. Then if you want to change where it saves that file to, you can do that. If you have some other settings that you want to do, you want to name it a different way you can do that as well I leave all of that the same and I leave this right here silence monitor on off and everything else I leave alone I matter of fact the only thing I change on this screen for myself is the format so once that's done now we can get into Skype and it's real easy because what you've already done is you've told this software where Skype is, you've shown it where it is when you selected that application right here. And so when you click on Hijack, Skype will launch. And you'll see it bouncing in the bottom of my toolbar there. And then I'm going to type in my password, which is a good thing you can't see it. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
And so now Skype is open. Now, I'm, I'm not going to call anyone because I've already recorded some calls and we'll be able to show you what it does uh, in just a second. Once we've finished hijacking the audio and we've finished recording the audio, once we've finished recording a call, then we go over here. The, the way we do that, we start by click when we call, make the call, we click on this button right here, record. And then when we're finished recording, we click the record button one more time. And so it's finished hijacking and it's finished recording. And so it says we have two seconds of audio. So we're going to go to the recording bin and we see the audio has not been saved. That's fine because what I want to show you is this audio right here. This one right here. Now we've already set what our editor is and the preferences. So I'm going to go down here and click editor. Now I see Audacity firing up automatically and it's opening up that file, importing that file right into Audacity. We're going to give it a few seconds to do that. And now we see a stereo file. And this has my voice in the top and my interview subject's voice in the bottom. And so what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this audio right here and we're going to go up here and we're going to say split stereo track. And then there's another way we can do that to make it a lot easier. Let me undo that. I'm going to show you an easier way that way because if you do it that way, then my voice is still on the left and the subject's voice is still on the right. So we're going to go down here and split stereo to mono. And so now I have two split tracks and I have my voice that's mono centered. It's full two track mono. And then this is full two track mono for the guest. And I recorded him really hot. So we're going to, I've already worked on that in the settings a little bit uh, through the preferences for Skype. You turn the output down a little bit in your preferences to Skype. And then that way you can get the audio settings the way you want it. But, but uh, we're going to uh, now apply, the first thing I do is apply those settings that I taught you in the last video for my microphone to get it processed properly and then do any editing that I need to, and then it's available to be used in a podcast episode. So that's how you record in Skype using Audio Hijack Pro for a two-track mono recording of your interview. This is Phil Swindle with Decknumi.com. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of training. And if you've got an idea of something else I could do to help you, feel free to let me know by emailing me at philip at Thank you. God bless. And you have a great day.